Okay, Cal, have you been having a think? About... Just having a think in general. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I tend to always think. Okay. Well, I say do, always. Let's do this then. Yeah. episode of the Two Universal Glossary, mm. where we try and make some coherent thoughts out of the incoherent thoughts we've had about the incoherent non-cinematic universe that we've tried to create from the Loom Tunes universe in our main show, The Space Jam Continuum. Are you Chris McLennan? I am. Oh. I think that probably makes me kind of noble. I think you still are, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, I was just like, everything's really incoherent at the moment. <laughs> am I still me? I don't know. Well, so the Two Universal Glossary uh, is a supplementary show we do every ten episodes. Yeah, for free. The Space as well. Jam continue for free, for constantly, free. just repeatedly. Uh, cheeky bonus, <laughs> extra bang for your buck there. Yeah. Could someone give us a? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just one. Um, so uh, we go over some of the well, normally go over some of the phrases we've coined, but there's only really one. This yeah. time round, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but also, just some of the general things that are going on in this universe in the last ten episodes. And anything has changed from what we originally... Uh, kind of thought. Kind of thought. Yeah. And it's just... A, so, I think we decided that the main two things that are going on in the two universe and in a, and also in, the, in our universe yeah. at the moment are World War Two. Yeah, quite a big thing. And Porky becoming a tyrant. Yeah, and it, it it is odd that those those two things are kind of coinciding. Yeah, so I mean, because I was, I think they do s- sort of go hand in hand. In that, I was expecting war to actually manifest in the Tooniverse. Yeah, and we haven't actually really <clears throat> seen that. We've seen a lot of like token support to us. Yeah, like posters, like people singing songs and but stuff like that. But we've seen no evidence that the Tooniverse is at war. No. Except, and I didn't think about it at the time, but, uh, and it might just have been them going, can you can you do a bit of an awareness bit Yeah. through the portal, please? But Tweety was uh, an air, air raid warden. Yeah. Which means they must be at risk of an air raid. Yeah, but I think in the in the do you think in, the, in, in the two careful? universe? No, I think in the two universe there's always risk of air raids. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> at any point. Like so if, what, not a war thing for them. No, it's just uh, that might happen. Yeah, it could. There could just be an air raid because like war does or not war, but like kind of large scale battles do seem to just break out in the two universe. That's true. Like, Random. It's like it's more like just brawl after brawl. Yeah, like they're they're pretty big. And when anybody can be, kind of just have planks strapped to their arm and can start be flying. Some about. people don't need that. No, some people just start being I've a seen plane. Bugs be a plane. Yeah, you already became a B forty B nineteen. Ah, B nineteen. Yeah. So like, I mean, if he can fly about, does he have the ability to drop bombs? Well, and I if he does, so. I mean, he'd have no because he'd have to be carrying the. He'd have to take up like a backpack with him. I've definitely seen Bugs pull dynamite out of nowhere. Maybe if someone it is Bugs. sat on his back, yeah, just drop stuff off him. Yeah, pilot to bombardier. No, I think that's a reasonable. Uh... Yeah, so I think that I think air raids are just a thing that can happen. <laughs> so, yeah, like we like we've seen a lot of crossover, but I I think the like the closest bit is you know like Porky the tyrant. Like I think he's setting himself up for starting a potential war. Because, like, he seems more sort of, like, Stalin. Yeah. He's not He's not a fascist. No. Or at least, you know, we haven't seen any strong evidence to that effect. It's no. just, he's kind of deluded. But, yeah, so so we're back on the theory then that still that the tunes are just in support of... Yeah, I, 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 th- I think that's the what American... it is. Like, I think the agency are kind of just going, look, a lot of people are watching these like before films and stuff like that, and you know, it's a good way of getting across to like the kids, you know, to do, to do your bit. So yeah. I think that I think they they've seen it as a good um, a good kind of advertising space. Yeah, because we've seen a lot of like 
Like pretty much every cartoon at the moment has something. Yeah, yeah. There was, I think there was a couple Either in the last episode where bonds, there wasn't much, but buy war bonds or you know save ammunition, save ammunition, or, yeah, or like just all like uh, there was the the victory garden bit, which was a um, you know it was a scheme brought out in America where it was like right you know grow vegetables in on private land, yeah, you know as a way of just you know getting more food about the place. Um, and that, so it's, it's all like support for these schemes. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a poster. Sometimes it's very overt. Like sometimes it's like quite a lot of the episode. Like, yeah, right. Well, they're just going V for victory and all of that sort yeah. of stuff. So but, uh, yeah, it's, it but seems ultimately to be quite... we don't think there's war there. The it, there, there have, hasn't. Yeah, there hasn't been any evidence really of it. I wouldn't say. So let's talk about Porky then. El Porco. <sighs> I think we're going to like that. That that could take up the entirety. I think that's going to be most of what yeah. this is. Though. Like. So he, the main the main arc at the moment, like from uh, episode twenty one up till we just done episode thirty, yeah. The main arc really is that Porky has sectioned off area of the farm and possibly a large area around it, yeah, as its own nation state of which he is its fearless leader, and in more recent times has started like hiring. Luck-a-lux. Other diminutive pigs, yeah, uh, to work in various establishments, porky establishments, as named well. named like Porky's Bakery, yeah, Porky's, Porky's Cafe, Cinema. Porky's Cinema, yeah, um, because there has been an attempt on his life, yeah, and he needs to, you know, yeah, he, he, lay low for a while. Yeah, he's a, he's essentially just got himself loads of decoys, yeah, to be. So, like, every business in that area is just run by Porky Pig. Yeah. So no one can tell which is the real Porky. Yeah. Which is why, like, you know, the, the, like the portal has jumped occasionally to... To the wrong Porky. Like, like to the wrong one. Because it, it, it doesn't it doesn't know, you know, if there's a, a pig that looks just like Porky, and it's called Porky, and it's in Porky's cinema. But it's been a are. fair few episodes since we've seen even a Porky Pig. Yeah. And... Even more since we've, we seen think we've seen Porky the Third, yeah, Porky the Third, the El Porco, Porky. the yeah. despot Porky, the yeah. tyrant, yeah. And so that's sort of the lay of the land there, and it's it's strange because we we thought it was really coming to a head, and then it's just gone silent. We've had a lot of other characters coming in, yeah, and but I'm I'm thinking, I think he's been knocked off. It. It wouldn't surprise me, no. and I don't think it would upset me at this point. I don't think I like. I think there would be there'd be a small amount of sadness, but it'd be the sadness for the pig that we lost. But I think I've already got that sadness because we because have already lost that. We've pig. lost him. He's like, not. I, I think I've already been through the grieving process. I think it would just be you know losing the body. I've accepted that he's not the porky we grew to love. Yeah, even for his various. Foibles. You know, foibles. Yeah. And oh, he had them. He did. I was them. actually going to say foibles. Well, yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I was like, you know what? I'm going to use Let's the word deploy foibles. the word foibles. <laughs> foibles. Let's get that in. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But, no, I don't. I don't think I'd be. But I don't think I'll know until it happens. No, that's it. Like, I think when it happens, there, there, there might be a single solitary tear. I also but... miss Porky the Fourth, even though he was hamming it up a bit and he wasn't as good. Yeah, like, but he wasn't evil. No. He wasn't mad. No. Well, I mean, he, he might be now. He might be now. He ran we, up, we, last what time we saw him, he was in Mexico. Yeah, he ran off to Mexico. And that was ages ago. It was a very long time ago. That was, like, episode 13, maybe? Yeah. That was 17 episodes ago. Bloody hell. That's, that's the last time we saw Porky the Fourth, I think. And, I mean, like, the thing is, we potentially may have already seen Porky the Fifth, because it's possible that the portal has shown us the porky that's going to oh no it was episode 16 it was this changes everything because that's when we saw him been up so I think it might have been in that or it might have been the episode after where we last saw him in Mexico but still that's a long time ago yeah yeah it was like that must have been in 1939 we're just about to finish 1942 it's madness it's it's just it's odd that like because he was so short lived as well actually porky the fourth yeah, I found it like he, he was. He it was, was a glaring it. difference, is the yes, thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because like, that like, was during the whole um, <coughs> Porky Killer Kid thing. Porky's Killer Kid. Yeah, yeah. and when Daffy settled down. Yeah, he seems to just sack that off. 
Well, it, well, there it, it was, very little baggage for Duffy on the way out. Yeah. Always get that fucking. But uh, but it was it was like him sacking it off was um, when we first saw uh, the rise of El Porco. Because it, it, it was during that the court case, wasn't it? That because that was when we it was yeah. So a lot's happened. It, it really has. It, it, I mean, it feels like the last the last ten episodes. It, it felt very Porky heavy, um, but, but it then feels but like then it, the last few just have been like, well, where is he? What, yeah, it what's feels happening? like it would be nice to have you know put a, put a lid on that. You know, just before this episode, and I have a feeling we're going to put a lid on the El Porco arc. Unfortunately, just after this. I think so, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, so I think okay. episode 30, 31 is going to be the one. So, Yeah, so I guess the other the other thing we want to talk about yeah. is uh, Toon Lords. Yeah, so, like, you know, Bugs is in, and it's Bugs Bugs now. Yeah. Like, it's proper Bugs. And obviously, like, whenever a character comes in that we know is going to recur, yeah, especially if they're going to recur... All the way to Space Jam yes. and beyond. Yeah, is we already always need to be thinking of how we like. How do they make it? How do fun? they make it to to Space Jam? Yeah. Uh, so we know that Porky just gets replaced. Yeah. Porky's more of a character than an individual. Yeah, he's 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 a name essentially that is passed down. Like because even because he's a celebrity in the two universe as well. Yes. Whereas certainly at this point, Bugs is not. Bugs is not. Daffy is. He's dabbled, but yeah, he's dabbled. He's, he's and dabbled he's as a director. Now. He's quit. He has. Uh, so but, like he was a director and he was in films, but he like he, he's quit that he quit that industry in the last episode. Yes, and and like we saw, like he wasn't born to sentience. Yeah, Daffy. Daffy became. But we sentience. know that Porky's just replaced. We haven't worked out what Daffy's deal is yet. No. Um, then we've, we've got a few other ideas. recurring characters that we've got ideas for. And Bugs, recently, uh, it was in episode 28. Yeah. Uh, time and Relative Dimension in Soil. Yeah. When we realised that Bugs can move freely. Yeah, through soil. Immediately. Like, like he instantly. doesn't... Yeah, he merges with it. He, do, like, he, doesn't, he doesn't dig a hole. I mean, he can dig a hole. Yeah, but he doesn't have to. He doesn't he have to. He can just... Fall straight into it, like you know the, the atoms. He can, well, I think I, I'd imagine he can lose the the charges around the negative charge around his electrons and the positive charge around his uh, protons. Yeah, to so then just I think it essentially becomes alchemy. Yeah, um, but he can move freely. We know spatially. Yeah, and we're pre- because he can do that instantly. Yeah, we've got to presume he has temporally like, yeah, as well. Exactly. Like so, like, all. Soil is to bugs like his TARDIS. Yeah. Uh, and that gave us, you know, a Toon Lord. Yeah, it does. And, and, and the that, last Toon Lord, it would seem. Yeah. Uh, uh, until, the only one we've seen. Until, until just he, now. Yeah, he, 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 he had he hypnotised um, Thin Elmer. Or Thin Elmer. Elmer um, and seemingly passed across... Some of his powers. So Elmer. All of his powers. So just briefly, for those who haven't just because we've just done the episode. Right? Yes. So like briefly, Elmer came in with a book, tried to hypnotize Bugs. Uh, Bugs played along, but Bugs hypnotized Elmer. Yeah. And then he was like, "Oh, I've got to find a way to get this guy to stop bothering me." He goes, "Oh, I've got it," and he hypnotizes him to be a rabbit. Yeah. And in that moment, transferred a lot of his. Rabbit powers yeah. to Elmer. Now it's going to be about what Elmer remembers going forward. Yeah, uh, it's going to be. But I think what we'll see is Elmer returning to his usual form, yeah. and then over time, just realizing that he can do certain things. And so we think Bugs, who we've been treating as essentially the two universes' yeah. doctor. Yes, that and would... Elmer's the master. Yeah, he has to be. But the, I mean, the the question is, is just the bits where they were hypnotizing each other. Yeah, it was just like this is like, this yeah. is like they're having a ride battle. Who. But like, what what's interesting, like, is that like, is it that he, that he transferred his rabbit powers? Because I don't think all rabbits have those powers. No, but it's his powers. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're his so, tomb powers. Yeah, his massive so tomb that's powers. that's what he because um, you know we've talked about kind of trying to rank 
uh, tomb powers into yeah. some sort of level system. And we we knew long before we got to Bugs, the we Bugs knew Bugs, Bugs was going to top be... Top tier. Yeah, he was going to be right up there, right at the top. And I can't think of anybody realistically that like, is Bugs on the is same a, level as Level him. 20 sorcerer. Yeah. Like, like, I, I can't think of anybody who would be on that level. Yeah, and and we we knew that was going to be the case because we know yeah. Bugs is like the face yes. of Looney Tunes yeah, yeah. in the end. Yeah. Um. So we always knew there was going to be something special, but I tr- think what it is first some of those powers oh, that was irresponsible of them. But I wonder because we wondered if we were seeing because now we don't know the age of the Bugs we're seeing. Yeah, I still think that this is relatively new Bugs. Yeah, I think this is. But I don't think it necessarily has been every time we've seen. No, him. no, no. Um, I think the one that transferred his powers was because I don't think he yeah, knew what he was doing. Knight, because I think it's going to take Bugs a while, and obviously we don't know how, when, what order we're seeing that while. Yeah. Before he realizes that they're not rabbit powers, they are his powers. Yes. And he's transferred to Elmer what he thought were rabbit, rabbit powers. Yeah. But actually, he's created something. Incredibly powerful. Yeah, so a former it's egghead. Be, it's going to be important to try and keep yeah. the fact that Elmer can do these things secret from Elmer. And yeah, ideally, like, like, po- like possibly that's why he torments Elmer so much, just to keep him busy. So he doesn't have time to Maybe. discover. Because if Elmer gets bored, he's going to start, you know, but then trying to work like, them out. Yeah, but is he? Isn't he more likely to try and work them out? In combating bugs? No, no, because he, cause he's going to go back to his standard grab a gun bit. His <laughs> classic, classic like, grab a gun, I don't know what this does. Yeah, stick. exactly. Like, like, I think, like, bugs... Or possibly, he's, maybe he's trying to train them. Maybe he's went, oh, I've passed these powers on. He's like Anakin Skywalker. He's yeah. too old for these powers. Yeah. Like, I, th- I think that's what it is. is. like, I can trade him. Yeah, I, I reckon I can. And he ends up creating a Sith Lord. <laughs> Anything could happen. The role with two Lords for now. Yeah. But, I mean, since since the last Universal Glossary, those are the three main ideas. Additional yeah. ideas. So, I mean, if, you listen, if you're new to the show, listen to the two previous two Universal Glossaries. Yeah, they, they, they'll have that you That should probably up. bring you up to speed. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna want to listen to the episodes because they go into some more detail, yeah. and some things we'll refer to refer back to that maybe haven't been relevant so far, but may become relevant in the future. So yeah, I, I, worth I, I, listening to Hog. But if you just want to jump in where everyone else is, yeah, yeah there's two new episodes. If, if you do want to jump here. in, that yeah, I would say watch the Dover Boys though. Oh, do watch go, the like, like go back and watch the Dover Boys the, because we we watched it is that. unhelpful and amazing. Yeah, like like we watched that what last episode, I think episode before, yeah. so episode twenty nine. Yeah, we watched that and it was great. <laughs> it was great. Like, if, if you don't watch any of them, if you don't listen to any of the back shows, just watch the Dover Boys. Do yourself a favor, <laughs> watch the Dover Boys. It's great. It's just brilliant. But apart from that, uh, I think. Is that all we need to? Yeah, no, I, th- I think I think that pretty much wraps us up. That brings us up to what I think up to date. Anyway. Nice, nice brief to Universal Glossary this yeah. this this week. Um, so uh, join us on Wednesday uh, for episode thirty one. Hopefully, we'll finally find out the state of Despot Porky. Yeah, or indeed any Porky. Any, At this yeah. point, I'll take anything. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to see a Porky pig. Uh, but until then, that's it from us. It is. Bye. Bye.